please like and comment on the video below. That will allow me to produce better quality videos and more of them in the future. So, we're looking at this market here, we can see that Otter Moon has uh, been attracting a bit of support. You can see it's been coming down from here. I'm beginning to wonder if it's going to go much further or not, or what's going to happen to the prices and some of these others. And um, I do wonder if we're going to see a bounce in somewhere and uh, what that will look like. Let's have a look at uh, Blue Comet. It's sort of coming at four, and it, can you see here it's at four? It's come in a bit, and now it's gone back out, and it's stopped at four. So the only thing that's going to carry that further forward is if we see continued backing, excuse me, it's continued backing somewhere else and I don't see that. So I think that Blue Comet is going to come back in again. So I'm tempted to look at Otter Moon as to be the one to oppose because it's near the bottom of its traded range. And um, if we're expecting to see a few others come in, then maybe we will actually see uh, a bit of activity on that one. And it looks like we are beginning to see a bit of activity, so I'm just going to drop some money in there. Need to keep an eye. What's going on, of course, everything looks fine there. We've only got about a minute 55 left, so what I'm going to do on this occasion is um, I'm establishing an order value of about £256. So if I pop in £256 worth of closing orders above the current price. I'm just going to drop that up to square that and make it even. We'll see if it bounces off a of four. So a blue comment we could see had gone up and down between four for a little while and then it touched it and it's starting to head in. We're starting to see a little bit of support on loud and clear. If we look at the chart on loud and clear you can see it's been pretty flat for ages. But what we're trying to do here is we're saying this has come all the way in from here. It doesn't seem to want to go any lower and we're expecting the price to go back out. And we're saying that for a couple of reasons. One is it probably isn't value below this particular level. But also think about traders or people that have been backing it at this price. And they're sort of thinking, well, you know what, I've got a profit anyway. I may as well cash out. Um, and it's likely that the position is more likely to reverse towards the end because of that. So simply because we've seen lots of backing doesn't mean that it's going to continue. And in fact, what you may actually find towards the end, near the start of a race, depending upon when you join it, you may actually get this little rebound that occurs a big chunk of money came in just there. That's probably going to halt it within the 40 odd seconds that we've got left. We'll keep an eye on that. We'll see what happens to that and whether it gets taken. So if we look at the matched money here, if that goes over 8,000, then that would imply that people are laying or at least exiting at that particular level. A bit of money's coming at 4-1. We're going to run out of time on this probably. No, we did get that. And we're just going to see it's probably quite likely that that money will go and we will get touched at 4.4, but we're really close to the off here. And the start is going up on the steps. I'm going to move up here just to get ready to hedge this. It's almost match. He's looking at his watch. He's checking everything. And we're going to hedge our position now. So there you go. The um, You can see that we looked at this one. It had never really gone above fours. And that's what stopped us from doing anything there. And we thought if that is going to come back down again, that will put pressure on something to go out. We've seen the favourite being backed in as well. We could have jumped on the favourite perhaps, but this just looked the lower risk trade to me at this particular point in time. And um, we just did that on the basis that it had come in quite a bit already, and that in fact it had reached its floor effectively, and was probably going to drift from there, which is exactly what it did.